We start by recalling that tan inverse A plus tan inverse B is equal to tan inverse A plus B upon 1 minus AB. Therefore, tan inverse X plus tan inverse 1 minus X is equal to tan inverse of X plus 1 minus X divided by 1 minus X times 1 minus X. This simplifies and is equal to tan inverse of 1 upon 1 minus X plus X square. Therefore, integral 0 to 1, tan inverse of 1 upon 1 minus x plus x square dx is equal to integral of tan inverse x dx plus integral of tan inverse 1 minus x dx. The limits of integration are 0 and 1. Now, recall a property of definite integrals that integral 0 to a hx dx is equal to integral 0 to a h of a minus x dx. It therefore follows that integral 0 to 1 tan inverse 1 minus x dx is equal to integral 0 to 1 and in the integrand replace x with 1 minus x. The right hand side simplifies to integral 0 to 1 tan inverse x dx. Using this result, integral 0 to 1 tan inverse 1 upon 1 minus x plus x square dx is equal to 2 times integral 0 to 1 tan inverse x dx. Now the second part of the problem is to evaluate integral 0 to 1 tan inverse of 1 minus x plus x square dx. Let's call this integral i. Now let's assume that the integrand on the left hand side is equal to z. Therefore, tan of z is equal to 1 minus x plus x square. And therefore, 1 upon 1 minus x plus x square is equal to cot of z. But cot of z can be written as tan of pi upon 2 minus z. And therefore, tan inverse of 1 upon 1 minus x plus x square is equal to pi upon 2 minus z. And therefore, the integrand of i, which is z, is equal to pi upon 2 minus tan inverse of 1 upon 1 minus x plus x square. Therefore, the integral i, which is equal to integral 0 to 1 z dx, is equal to integral 0 to 1 pi upon 2 dx minus integral 0 to 1 tan inverse of 1 upon 1 minus x plus x square dx. Now we have already established in the first part of the problem that the second term on the right hand side is equal to 2 times integral 0 to 1 tan inverse x dx. Now integrating by parts, we get the value of i is equal to pi upon 2 minus 2 times in brackets x times tan inverse x, the limits being 0 and 1, minus integral 0 to 1 x times the derivative of tan inverse x which is 1 upon 1 plus x square dx. Putting in the limits, we get pi upon 2 minus 2 times in brackets, tan inverse 1 minus 0 minus half of ln of 1 plus x square. Again, the limits are 0 and 1. This is equal to pi upon 2 minus 2 times in brackets, pi upon 4 minus half of in brackets, ln of 2 minus ln of 1. This simplifies to pi upon 2 minus pi upon 2 plus ln 2, which is equal to ln 2, which is the required answer of the given integral.